Hey you guys, what's up? Thanks for clicking on today's video to watch this tutorial for fine, thin hair using the new Shark Flex Style. Before we get into it, I just wanna make sure that you are getting the video that you think you're getting. So this is not a comparison between the Shark Flex Style and the Dyson Airwrap. I never bought the Dyson Airwrap, always thought it was too expensive, so I have been making do with a curling rod and your traditional hair dryer round brush sort of setup. So this is what I achieved today right before filming this intro using the new Shark Flex Style. I'm gonna walk you through how I do it, tips and tricks that I have found work best for my hair as well as the products that I use to make it do this. And then we will pop back here and I'll give you guys sort of my final thoughts on the device if you're interested. Everything I'm using in today's video, including the Flex Style, is linked for you down below in the description. So make sure you check that out. And if you find this helpful, don't forget to subscribe and share with a friend. All right, so we're starting with wet hair, freshly showered here. So these are the products that I am using to prep my hair first. I've been using the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Conditioner. And then after that, I will be going in with another product from Redken. This is their Big Blowout Heat Protection Jelly. And then I do also have a volumizing root spray. It's just a liquid spray that I bought from, from a local salon here in town. But any volumizing root spray or mousse that you have, um, if the goal here is volume, get that in there. So once you have all of your product in and combed through, the first thing we're gonna go in with is the styling concentrator as the hair dryer attachment. So this is the part where you're going to grab the device here. You're going to push down on this twisty bendy arrow lock here, and you're going to twist this into a 90 degree angle. And then we're just gonna snap the concentrator right in and we've got our hair dryer. I like to go in on a heat setting of two with a low fan, but it does have three different fan settings and three different heat settings, so your choice. So for this part, I really recommend just trying to get the roots drier. You don't want the full lengths of your hair to be completely dry before we go into the other attachments. So I'm just gonna try to get the, my roots about 50% dry before we go in with the oval brush. One thing that's interesting about this is as it's drying your hair, it's not gonna feel as powerful as the hair dryers that you're used to. But somehow, even though it doesn't feel as powerful, it's actually drying your hair faster. So great technology. Flip this lock again, twist this back to a vertical position. You're going to use the, this is to twist, this is to unlock the device. Click that, unlock um, your attachment. Now I'm gonna go in with the oval brush. This is different from the paddle brush. The paddle brush you're gonna be using for straight styles, but this is for volume at the root. If you use a round brush and a hair dryer, it's the same principle, except you only need one hand to use this, so it's much easier. So I'm gonna clip up about half of my hair really quickly so I can use this around the bottom and then again at the top, keeping in mind, keep this targeted at your roots for the volume. I don't want completely 100% dry ends yet. So at this point, I would say, I mean, look at that volume, but I would say like, I can definitely still feel moisture in my hair, which is what you want. So now we're gonna go in with the auto wrap curlers. So I'm gonna start, since you do have to go left and then right, there's two different attachments for either direction. I'm gonna part my hair where I normally would, and I'm going to just sort of get the right side out of the way, and we're gonna start with the left. This is the part where you're going to want a brushable hairspray something that has a decent hold, but movable, brushable hold, not like crunchy hold. I am actually out of that hairspray, so we're gonna make do. The closest thing to brushable that I have right now is Living Proof Control Hairspray. My preference is to use the Redken, formerly I think it was like their number 12, I don't remember what they called it, but in their new line of products they have something comparable that's all about the brushable hold hairspray. So you're gonna want something like that. I'm gonna go in and switch to the left curler attachment. Okay, so I've done a couple to kind of get more toward the front of my head where you can see. What you wanna do is grab your hair about four inches from the ends, leaving this to hang. And then when you turn this on, you're gonna hold this at the end so that that air current allows it to wrap the hair around the curling rod. And then you're gonna slowly move it into your head and hold it there for about 10 seconds. At that point, there's this blue button on the front, this cool shot button. 
I hit that, I hold that down for a few seconds until I can feel that cool air coming through and what that's gonna do is help seal the hair cuticle. And then I'm gonna show you how I release the curl to get the best amount of hold. So you're gonna have to turn the device off so that the airflow stops and then you're kind of just gonna very gently and quickly, you kind of want to release the tension a little bit so the curl loosens. See how it's like really tight there? But if I relax a little bit, I lose that tension. You want to get rid of that tension and then very quickly scoop and palm the curl like that. And while you've got the curl coiled up in your palm like that, hit it real quick with a little shot of the spray and then give that a second to kind of cool off and then let it drop down. And as we keep working our way around the head, that'll relax even more so you're not gonna end up with like these crazy newscaster looking curls. So I'm gonna keep going because my hair is drying really quickly at this point. So here we go. So as I'm sure you kind of saw there at the end, just for the sake of expediency and sort of picking up the pace a little bit, what you can do is while you've got the cool shot on, don't do it while it's blowing hot air, but you can grab the curl off of the rod while that cool air is blowing and move on to the next piece without stopping in between every curl to spray. But I wouldn't do more than two or three pieces without pausing to spray, otherwise you're going to lose the hold. Okay. So once everything is cool, this bit here needs to cool down a little bit. This is the part where the brushable hairspray really makes life a lot easier. So like I said, we're just gonna work with what we've got, but we're gonna start by finger combing through all of the curls. So we end up with less curl and just a lot more body. Sort of breaking it up so it's not a bunch of defined curls. And what you've got is that. And then if you've used a really soft hold hairspray at that stage, today obviously I didn't, so I'm not gonna add more hairspray, but that is when I would go in with a higher hold hairspray like the one that I just used by uh, Living Proof. Again, this is the Living Proof Control hairspray. Another one that I really like is the Redken 28, the Control Addict. Now this is just another step that I like to take because my hair is so fine and thin that um, I don't want it to just get, I don't want it to fall flat, I don't want it to lose body, and I don't want it to look too like newscastery like I said. I prefer more of like that beachy texture body. So I'm gonna use the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. This is great for just keeping dry volume in the hair, adding a little bit of texture. Other ones I really like are the Texture Spray from Redken. I don't remember what it's called, I'll link it below for you guys. Um, Redken also has a really great one called the Wax Blast, which adds a lot of texture. So what I usually do with the Texture Spray is I will kind of just hit it, and it'll go in with kind of like a crunching motion. Going in the direction that I curled that side, and a little bit up at the roots, to kind of zhuzh and get that lift. So just some final thoughts for you on the Shark Flex style, as you just saw in the tutorial, pretty clear. You can get big, voluptuous blowout hair using this device in a way that I don't think that you can, or at least I have never achieved, using just a round brush with a blow dryer and then a curling rod. For me personally, because my goal was more body and sort of those voluptuous, beachy supermodel waves, this definitely is working for me. It's checking all of the boxes. If you are somebody who likes that more of a defined curl, this is not gonna be the device for you and you should just stick with your curling irons. One thing that I am very hopeful about with this is ter in terms of heat damage is I think I'm gonna end up with less of it in the long run and at first I wasn't really sure why, but as I mentioned in the tutorial when I was using the blow dryer attachment, I think it is just creating the style and drying the hair in a much more efficient way so your hair is exposed to the heat for a shorter amount of time. It's also somehow achieving better results 
with less heat and less intensity. So I feel like there's something going on here that's just a lot more efficient, which I also like. Bonus feature for me, quite frankly, was also that this is going to do a great job of doubling as a travel hair dryer. Even the travel size hair dryers that you buy are super obnoxious to pack because they come stuck in that L-shaped. But because this opens back up into just your straight device and it's pretty compact, like there's not a lot to it, this is gonna be awesome for traveling too. So ultimately, if you are not somebody who has tried one of these before and you have still been powering through with your round brush and your hair dryer, I definitely recommend the upgrade. Even with fine, thin hair, this has been working fantastic for me. So I will link this and all of the products that I used in today's video in the description box for you. You can go and check them out. Highly, highly recommend, have zero complaints. So thanks for clicking on the video. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.